Sometimes stealing people's private information is easier than you think. <laughs> Secure Ninja. I'm speaking with Beth Lowther of 3M Marketing Communications, and what caught our eye to bring us into the booth was this term, visual hacking. So Beth, tell us a little bit about visual hacking. Sure. So visual hacking is when information is captured through visual means, where the person has not given them permission to take that information. Okay, so looking over somebody's shoulder type thing? Exactly, just like shoulder surfing. So you've got some great visual graphics here. Let's go over a little bit about what you've got. Sure. We feel it's an unaddressed threat, visual hacking. So we conducted a study called the Visual Hacking Experiment where we hired a whitehead hacker to go into participating organizations and we asked them to do three overt tasks. One of which was keep a log of information that you visually could capture just at looking at screens. The second one was we had um, envelopes labeled on desks that said confident, or confidential that we asked them to take um, off and put into a backpack, for example. And then the third was to use a smartphone to capture photos of screens with information that they were seeing. And as you can see in the graphic, almost 70% of the time they weren't stopped or the, the uh, visual hacking went unnoticed. And in over, almost 90% of the time, uh, a sensitive piece of information was captured. Right. It was captured and the person that it was stolen from didn't even realize it was ever captured. They didn't. Or if they did, they didn't ask questions right. or ask them what they were doing. Right. So is this a more um, widespread thing, would you say, a, a method of hacking instead of doing it electronically, just kind of people snooping around and getting information this way? Sure. Well, I can't comment on that, but as people just are accessing information more mobily or through their mobile device or more remotely, people are just looking at more sensitive information in more open spaces. And they just aren't always aware of who's looking. And if they can see their screen, someone else can also see the information on their screen. Right. So these studies are kind of meant to highlight the importance of keeping your information private and the way that you can keep the information private is through these protection screens? Correct. We feel it's a first line of... Um, just protecting your information and keeping your information more private. So we have three in privacy filters and what they do is when you use them the user can see their information clearly as a straight on angle but it blocks side views. Okay. So excellent. people sitting next to you cannot see what's on your screen. Right and you've actually got a diagram of that here to keep visual hackers in the dark. We do. This is our zone of privacy. It shows how privacy filters work. So the person using it can see their screen clearly while the people on either side of them see a blocked view. Excellent. Very cool. So this is definitely a good way to highlight the risks of visual hackers. And we love that term. That's definitely interesting and brings the whole thing to light. So privacy screens. Yes, privacy filters. Yes. Excellent. Yes, three privacy filters. Three M privacy filters. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information with us. And we're definitely going to implement the three M privacy filters on our own screens. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to Secure Ninja TV on YouTube so you don't miss anything that we're producing here from CES 2016. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even Google+. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching.